The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. Hey kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. Hey kids, welcome back. Happy Sunday. So, um, was going to do a video yesterday and spaced it. <clears throat> I forgot my mother-in-law was coming. So she's here visiting. So um, here's where we left off. Where we left off is we have two Sponsons that are absolutely identical. Sponson foams that we cut off of episode one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut mirror image lefts and rights. So we're going to start with one piece of foam. We're going to take our two, that's not it, <laughs> Ah, see, always watch the whole video. Or if you want to be really safe, read the manual. All right, so, scary stuff. Your suffering will be legendary. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> according to the manual, here's the top, here's the bottom, right? Makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this up we're going to take the two pieces labeled top and you're going to get that lined up with the edge and lined up with the back as good as you can okay and you get a pin it stick a pin in it don't go through your thumb that's a bad day so ah see that. I actually walked through this earlier. I don't like doing it that way. I'm going to do it this way. <clears throat> I like being able to see it, so I'm going to do it. Line it up with the edge there. In the manual, I think it shows, you know, looking from the other side down. I must, uh, you know, I'm that short bus kid, I guess. Don't stick them all the way through because you're going to have to stick the other side on too. But go, see where we're going with this now? So these are two top skins. Make sure this stuff isn't moving around. Then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay. Looks fairly cohesive, so. Gonna line this side up now and this one you're definitely gonna want to squeeze together whilst cutting for sure because it's already popping out ah. see you can see my mess ups see are the pinholes the same see I'm, I'm worried about sticking the pin all the way through And hitting the other side. So let's let's go ahead and go all the way through. Never done this before. It's a learning experience for me too. So can't be that hard. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Like can't be that hard, dude. As the pin goes through the finger. Okay. like that I'm half tempted to clamp it honestly so these pins so let's see how well these line up curiosity not too bad okay and then Okay. Wow, interesting. 
It's a different way of doing it. All right. Looks, I'm checking the ends. Everything looks copacetic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our foam cutter and we're going to cut that edge. Then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other sponson, but it has to be the uh, other side, so opposite side. You want it mirrored, okay? So hopefully this thing's still got enough charge in it. Now, with this foam cutting process, I start in the middle. And I watched a dude yesterday. There's another build video on this. Can't remember the name of his page, but I know the guy. He's different. Um, and he was like dragging this thing totally weird. I didn't like the way he did it, but you know, not my boat. If you don't like it, you know, that's what I love about this YouTube stuff. Any YouTube guys I watch, honestly, any YouTube guys that I watch, I always give them props. Well, except for Josh Bardwell, but because whether you agree with what they're doing or not, at least they're taking the time to do it, you know? Like, I know a lot of people have watched my boat builds like, that is not the way I would do it. You're a tool. Well, that may very well be. Let's see your video. <laughs> That's kind of my theory on it. Well, if you're so fucking great, do a video. Show me up. I'm not an expert boat builder. I just build a lot of boats, and I build them as toy boats. It's going to need some trimming. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Hopefully that's working. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the other side. Okay. But make sure it's a mirror image. Lay it down on the table. Make sure this edge is against the outside. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take the sanding block. I'm going to cure this down. Pinch it together. Use that monster truck grip. Don't have to worry about the other side. Okay. Look at that. Looks like pig pen did it all dirty. All right. So I'm going to do the exact same process with the other side, but we're just going to make a mirror image before I burn the house down. And uh, bada bing, we'll move on to the next step. Be right back. Doki. So here we go. We have got ident well mirror image sponson sides. Pretty cool. Flat sides the inside. Don't mess that up. That's important. Curvy sides the outside. Flat sides also the bottom. Okay. If you know anything about boats, this makes sense. If you don't, trust me. Okay. So this is the top. See, it's curvy. Bottom's flat. Inside's flat. Outside's, I'm sorry, <laughs> inside's flat, outside's more curvy, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to glue in on the insides, inside spars, okay? Now mine, like I said in the other, other video, are not labeled. Careful of that, all right? doesn't matter. They're both the same, left and right. There's no difference between the two. But these are going to go on the flatter side of your sponson. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pin, we're going to put some 30 minute epoxy on here. The reason I'm not using 10, because normally I would cheat this, I would say I'm going to use 10 minute epoxy on this. The reason I'm going to use 30 is I want to really soak in. And since these sponsons are held on to the fuselage of the boat, the main body of the boat, with these two pieces, I want there to be a very strong connection there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some 30 minute epoxy and we're going to smear it. Okay. And it's easier just to put it on this side and then we're going to pin it with our pins. Then after we pin it, we're going to pin here, pin here, pin here. Okay. Then we're going to put tape around it, pieces of tape. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to put weights on it. Make sure you're on a flat surface. That's important. Don't put a, a shit ton of weights. It's just styrofoam. We're just going to use little two pound weights Use two by fours, whatever, you know, you don't need a ton of weight, just enough to keep it, you want it nice and flush, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some 30. What you guys are used to me calling 30 weight. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a little cup instead of my fancy dancy. Oh, that reminds me. 
my buddy MC Creation. So I'm going to thin this too a little bit. Where's my hair? My buddy MC Creations on YouTube, he's the one turned me on these silicon cups, which I love. Um, but uh, I had, when I did this first video and I made such a big deal about the foam cutting, I was like, man, this is so cool how, how they do this, which I know the hot wire foam cut. I mean, that's not new technology to me, but I just never seen it in a boat kit and I just thought it was really clever. Mm. And I was like, man, that's that's really clever for them thinking of this, you know, that process. And uh, he's told me in a comment that they've been doing that with RC airplanes for a while with the wing cores, which I didn't know. I have never built, believe it or not, and I've been in RC a long time. I mean, I had a hiatus for a while, but uh, I'm thinning this with a little denatured alcohol. Um, but I've built everything. I mean, seriously. I've been into planes, quads, obviously, drones, boats out the butt, cars, nitro cars, electric cars, gas cars, you know, whatever. Uh, but I've never built, like, a real plane. I've never built a stick balsa plane. I've never, the only planes I've ever built were from Hobby King. They're just foamies, you know. And he said, oh, yeah, that's, a, that's the new way or a, a way that they do that. I said, yeah, that's interesting. All right, so just making sure, flat side up, okay? Mm. And we're going to take our acid brush, and we're going to just do this. I am not going to put it on the wood. Have my reasons, okay? Not really anything major. Now, again, you're probably saying, hey, my buddy in my chat group is sending me some brushes he's like those brushes you're using are sucking ass dude i've got something for you and he's sending me some i can't wait because these suck these are off amazon but the harbor freight ones aren't much better really not it's, they all suck uh but yeah i can't wait those should be here this week <clears throat> okay blah get rid of that then we're going to take this and again we're on our flat side line everybody up like that nice and neat and then we're gonna pin it and I'm using these two fingers to kind of square me up it's gonna be a fast video because I was not planning on using 30 minute epoxy and oh well sometimes the, oops, the quick videos are best videos in my, I might even do another one tonight after this cooks for a while. <clears throat> okay. Now, one thing I always say, whether you're building a hydroplane, which this is technically, uh, or whatever you're building, if you're mimicking sides, you're doing mirrors, make sure you mimic it. Like in this case, I lined up the ass end here. I lined this up. Uh, and that was my starting point. Make sure on the next side you do the exact same thing. Don't line it up with the front because you don't want, if you're going to have differences in the system, make them identical differences. Does that make sense? Okay. So I use this as my starting point, so flush with that. And then I used this for that, for our uh, Z alignment. Just do it the exact same way on the other one, too. That way they're both off the same way if they're going to be off. Or they're both right on the same way. So you see what I'm doing? I'm leaving the pins in. And I'm just putting tape. This is just to hold it. Nothing fancy. Buy yourself. This is Blue Painter's Tape. I order mine off Amazon. Just type in Blue Painter's Masking Tape or Blue Masking Tape. You'll get the same crap I've got. It's all the same stuff. And it has low stiction. It doesn't have a lot of stick to it. It's not the best for clamping, but for something like this, it's great. I mean, it's all right. Okay, we're going to do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pins out because the pins are going to add height. And they're going to make everything... Weeble wobbly. You don't want weeble wobbly. Okay. And take this out, and then you're going to lay some weights on it. 
You're hired. All right. Just like that. Nothing but a peanut. We're going to grab some weight. Nothing heavy. This is just styrofoam. You don't want it to be crazy. Just like that. And rinse and repeat. Do the that the tape's just holding it in place for a second while you flip it. That's the only thing that tape is doing. Right now, tape's useless. We are only doing it to hold it while we flipped it, basically. So we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other other sponson. Make sure you find the flat side, put it on the flat side, and we're gonna do it again. And that's it. Flip it over, clamp it, rinse and repeat. Basically, this exact same thing. Then we're gonna do the outside. So I'm gonna try and do that video tonight. Um, Matter of fact, I'm not even going to do this one until uh, I'm going to put both videos together. This is too short. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Rinse and repeat. Give it three hours. Be right back. Bye. Hi. So it's been a hot few minutes. Actually, it's the next day. So let's see how we turn out. I already took one off one of our sponsors. Look at that. Proof I'm reading the manual. Pretty sweet. All right. We're going to take our little weights off. Take our little tape off. All right. Now, I was reading the manual, and hopefully I'm going to do this next part right. If not, if I do screw this kit up, I have never, like I said, I'm not, a, never done a foam core, never done this design before. Hopefully I don't screw it up, but if I do, I'll just get another one. I'll order another one. This one was free. Joe, Uncle Joe gave me this one. But if I screw it up, ouch, it's on my dime. And I'll buy another one, but I think I got it. <clears throat> so now the manual, I think, in this this bit is a little bit misleading. Uh, not misleading; it's just kind of funky. It took me a second to understand. If you read the manual, yeah. Anyway, we're going to take our outsides now, the outs, and we're going to line it up. So this is the inside of our sponsor that we did yesterday. Glue it on nice and neat. That James Brown keep me cutting today. And then we're gonna line this up with the very back this way, laterally. And that way. Okay? So it's gonna end up a trapezoid, basically. We're gonna flush this, flush mount this way, this way. And then bring this down basically evened up okay and then we're gonna glue we're gonna do the exact same thing so we're gonna mix up a batch of I'm gonna use 10 minute on this one because I want to get this done these sponsons reasonably set up today and we're gonna pin it we're gonna tape it just like we did the other side so be right back so we're gonna take some five minute like living on the edge Mix it up. Okay. Now, if you want to use 30, perfectly fine. But not needed. Okay. Then, we're going to smear it on the wood part. Now how I do this makes life a touch easier. All right. Don't need a ton. We're just doing skins here. This isn't just want to stick. Now, I'm not putting it on the foam because this is going to make it that much funkier to cut with the wire. Because we have to do another four cuts, basically. Okay. Use your third hand, as it says in the manual. Okay. Easy peasy. Make sure the curved side is going with the curved side. We're going to match it up flush here. Okay. Hopefully I don't screw this up. If I do, don't follow me and 
<laughs> until we're sure this is right. But I think we're okay. Alright. We're going to pin and tape. This is a fun kit. It's definitely different. Okay. Take our tape. We're going to do the work fast if you're using this quick epoxy. Now we're going to weight it, just like we did on the other one. Nothing exceeds like excess. Not sure if I need this much tape, but we're doing it anyway. Cheap. Good insurance. Alright, I'll take this pin out. Okay. And we're going to pull these pins. Hold them down when you do it. And then we're going to weight it exactly the same way we did before. To a point. It's the curve side. And just for good measure, I'm going to put a clamp here. Just so it doesn't move. The tape will hold it. All right. So now we're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to do the exact same thing with this side, and I'll be right back. Mercy, I just waiting for this stuff to cure. Let's talk to my buddy Lee that's in our chat group, which I uh, suggest you guys join. We have a good time in there. It's fun. Talk about all sorts of stuff, boats, life, family, whatever. But anyway, he says, oh, I'm mailing you something. He sends me a picture, and he goes, something you asked for. I'm like, asked for? I don't remember asking for nothing, so it's going to be in a video when it gets here. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we screwed this up. I also have my LiPo charging. It should be cured well enough now. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're all right. So, we're going to basically... My, uh, my wire cutter gave up the ghost a little bit. I don't know if I should replace that wire. It uh, needs a little Viagra. It got a little weak. I'm charging the lipo on her right now. So we'll see what happens. We'll give it a day in court. It should probably be tight. I'll try to tighten it up. I'll be right back. So I erred on the side of caution, which is rare for me. Usually, if you can find the dumbest way to do something, or more, the most dangerous, I'll find it. So I did rewire. I put the second wire on there. I figured it's last time I'm using this cutter, probably. All right, so. You'll notice this side, the inside, takes up the entire sponson foam, and this side doesn't. Even there, even there, even there, even there. So it's going to be at a, a hot angle there. So let's see what happens. And if I screw it up, I'll be ordering a new kit. Don't let that frighten you. You realize I've never been on board a ship before, sir. Oh, don't let that frighten you. Ah, Zeppelin. Rare for me. See, I'm hitting that epoxy. My phone's ringing. I'll mute this. Now, we're still going to, yeah, try not to get epoxy on a foam. I kind of knew that was going to happen. But what we're going to do, we're going to be sanding this anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I just hope like hell I'm doing this right. Those directions weren't super clear. Somebody call me from Florida. Probably one of my asshole friends telling me how nice the weather is. All right, hang on. All right, a little lopsided, but not bad. Doesn't matter, we're gonna sand it. And then, I'm gonna dry fit the wood. I'm gonna see if I screwed this up. Hopefully I did not. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Again, 
not my favorite day at the zoo, those directions. I don't have the confidence in those directions, Joe. And maybe it's just because I've had a long day. Distinctly possible. Maybe the directions are completely fine. I'm going too fast. See, the epoxy catches the cable, the wire. So try to be neat with your epoxy. Try not to get it too schmutzy like I did. Oh, you know who that was from Florida? I just remember my 80 year old mother drove to Florida yesterday. I thought that was her. <laughs> Not sure why she wouldn't be using her cell phone. Don't you love it when I tell you guys all this useful fucking information that's like, dude, shut up, do the boat. I might just be cutting this out of the video. Oh, see, I screwed up. It's alright. I did recharge that lipo, by the way. All right. Okay. Now, this will tell the tail. If we did this right, here's the end cap. Looks right. Okay. Let's grab. See, that's an inside. Yeah. Starboard side. Here's the bottom. Yeah, overhang, but it fits. Guess we're okay. Hang on, let's try top. Okay. Here's the top. Yeah, guess I did it right. Everything fits. Happy days, brother. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and foam cut the next one, and then I'm gonna sand these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some 80 grit sandpaper on our block, and we're gonna sand this nice and smooth. Make sure all your little lumps, because the cutter isn't meant to make it perfect. The cutter's to make it so you have less sanding and crap and shaping to do, and so you don't sand down your, your wood so much, okay? So we're just gonna lightly, that's all the cutter's for. In theory, you could build this without the foam cutter. Let me think about that. Yeah, you probably could, but I'm going to change the paper on. So, I'm going to cut that, sand them, and be right back. So, we're to the last part of this video. We're going to put the bottoms on our sponsor. So, the bottom bit, Lord have mercy. No matter how many times I tell the smoking hot wife, No matter what you hear in there, no matter how cruelly I beg you, do not open this door. She does it anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna do, bottom side, hopefully I remember where I came out. Bottom, I do the laser print up. Okay, and you want to line this up so you've got that laser burn there. You want a one the overhang. That's your drip edge, basically. Okay. And you want to glue this. I'm gonna do 30 minute. And you want an overhang all the way around. A little bit because we're gonna sand the hell out of this thing okay and then tomorrow we'll put on the butt end put on the tops put in the pins this baby will be done okay it's gonna be really nice so that's all we're gonna do I am going to clamp this I'm probably not going to tape it because I've got some nice light clamps we can use for this it'll work out real well but all we're gonna do is smear some 30 minute on here clamp it up just make sure this part's imperative. You're gonna have overhang on all the pieces, like even the top probably, but this one you leave. This is your drip shear. That shears the water off as you fly down the, the way, okay? So that's all we're gonna do. I don't think I need to really show you that. Put epoxy on it, clamp it up. Make sure your straight edge is with the straight edge. Curved edge is with the outside. Outside's curved, okay? So, <sighs> Till the next time, kids. Keep dry side up. Have fun. Bye.
strength to shake the world from you.